Let's take a look. What, first of all, what is a cycle? A cycle is a series of events being repeated many times. As we can see, if we're talking about uh, water, this is a very, looks like a very complicated diagram. But basically, we can start off with the ocean, right? It gets warm, the water moves up into the atmosphere, it cools down, it comes down as rain, it goes underground, and back into the ocean. A cycle is a process or a series of events that repeats over and over again. It's being repeated many times. Just like the human life cycle, somebody goes from infant to adult, adults have babies, and the cycle starts again. These events happen over and over. They're repeated many times, a series of events. That's what a cycle is. Okay, let's look at one stage or one step of the water cycle, and we're talking about a cloud. A cloud is many drops of water, many drops of water that are together in the sky. So water rises up into the sky, they get together and they form clouds, and that's what a cloud is. When we look at a cloud, we're not looking at air, this is actually water. There's many little drops of water, but they're very light, and there's not so many of them, there's enough of them to make it look different, but in this cloud there is water. If the cloud gets heavy, a lot of water gets together, that rain will fall, okay? Rain will fall from a cloud. Now, how do clouds form into the sky? Well, water has to evaporate, evaporate. <laughs> Poor kid, where did all the water go, right? He wants to go swimming, but all the water's gone. Where did it go? It evaporated, evaporate. Evaporate means to change from water to water vapor. So imagine this pool used to be filled with water, but over time, looks like it's been there for a long time. The, I wouldn't go swimming here anyway because it's very old and, and uh, uh, broken, but anyway. The water has evaporated. The water has changed from water, and we could say from water, liquid water, from a liquid form. It's changed from liquid. This water here used to be liquid water to water vapor. Vapor is a stage between liquid and gas, okay? So when the water gets hot, when the sun beats down, the water changes from liquid to a gas, from water vapor, it rises into the sky and it forms that cloud that we saw, that we just saw on the previous slide. So evaporate means to change from water, liquid water, to water vapor, okay? Okay, so our next word is to condense. Let's take a look at the picture here. I want you to focus in on this red circle. Do you see the water drops on the leaf? These water drops have condensed. So before we just talked about evaporate. Evaporate is when the liquid water heats up. It expands. It moves away from each other, right? They expand into the air. That's evaporation. But now the opposite thing is happening. It's condensing. So if you see these drops on the leaf, right, it doesn't have to rain, really, for this to happen. Imagine in the cool morning, right, before it becomes day, it's very cold at night. The water, because of the temperature is very cold, the water drops in the air will get together. If you go out in the morning, you might say, wow, the ground's wet. The leaves of the trees are wet. The leaves on the grass are wet. It didn't rain last night. Why is it wet? because the water in the air condensed, came together. Condense means to change from water vapor, water vapor in the air, to water drops. And these water drops fall onto the ground, on the grass, on the leaves. And so even in the morning, if it didn't rain, you will find drops of water like we can see here in the picture. So condense and evaporate are opposites. Evaporate means to spread out, spread away from each other. Condense means to come together, gather, okay? And especially when we're talking about water and the stages of the water cycle. Now, we've talked about water vapor a little bit already. If you take a look at this picture, we can see a lake, uh, a body of water here. We can also see it looks like a small cloud, a strange cloud above the water. Well, clouds are basically water vapor. Water vapor is the water that goes up into the air as a gas. Here it's liquid. In the sky it's cloud. Well, from a liquid form, it 
begins to evaporate. Looks like it should be very hot in this picture. Let's take a look at the video to see a better picture. So what we can see here is the lake here. Also looks like it could be a swimming pool around the edges, but it's very warm water. And because it's warm, that temperature is making the water evaporate. It's changing the liquid water into a water vapor. And the water vapor is spreading out. The liquid, it's come together, right? But evaporate, it starts to go apart. It starts to spread out and it becomes a gas. And this is what's happening. <clears throat> so this water vapor will rise up into the air. It will go into the sky and it will condense a little bit and form clouds. And that's where uh, we can see clouds or water vapor in the sky. Those are clouds. Okay, a drop. A drop is a small amount of water, a very small amount of water. Of course, when those clouds get together, if the water in those clouds get together a lot, they become heavier and they fall as single drops. So, of course, we have the word raindrop. Rain drop. So, a drop of rain is a raindrop. Uh, and you can see a very good picture. This is a small amount of water. It's a drop. It's a drop of water. Now, this may not be a raindrop because if you pour water into it, the water will, you know, bounce back up. So that's not a raindrop. That's just a drop of water. But when water falls from the sky, from the clouds, then that is a raindrop. Lesson 7 Clouds and Rain Cycle A cycle is a series of events being repeated many times. Cloud A cloud is many drops of water that are together in the sky. Evaporate Evaporate means to change from water to water vapor. Condense. Condense means to change from water vapor to water drops. Water vapor. Water vapor is the water that goes up into the air as a gas. Drop. A drop is a small amount of water.